here. Hey, look. I got some stories to tell. <laughs> Saturday morning, man. I got a lot of stories to tell. But first, let me see. I got some. Uh, what do I got? I, 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 the, anyway, just a little whatever store. I got the Lakewood Organic 100% Juice. Concentrated cranberry juice. But that's not what I'm interested in. This is what I got from uh, Watkins here. I got this. Uh, the pomegranate. Uh, certified organic pie, unsweetened, 100% juice concentrate. So these are both juice concentrates, right? Let me see, let me tell you how much to, to use the directions. Uh, during one, uh, uh, two teaspoons, uh, tablespoons, teaspoons. Uh, two teaspoons. That's probably something like that. So here's what, here's what I'm going to do. Some water. Some water, da 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 eh. Some water like that. More water. Now the reason why I got the pomegranate, I'm doing this little experiment. See, I gotta go back to, to I gotta go to the VA on uh, next Friday, uh, Thursday, I think next Thursday, whenever it is. This is gonna be exciting because as this little um, little as this big pandemic, <laughs> let me just call it pandemic. You all know what I'm talking about. As this goes on. See, this, this schedule, my, my, my doctor's appointment was scheduled a long, long time ago. So I want to see what, how the VA, when I first came, oh, I had a, one appointment a few weeks when I had to go for something, and it was oh, everything was cool. But uh, then the next time I came, they had people at the front door with the mask, and they're asking if you, da-da-da-da-da. Now when I go, actually, I got to go on Monday. I got to go on Monday again to do something else. What's this? What the heck's this? Oh, let me see. Oh. Now, how am I going to get two tablespoons or two teaspoons? I guess I get it just... Ah, ta, 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 ta. I got to... How do you say? You know. Oops. There you go. Okay. Ah. Now, pomegranate is very strong. I first, I first learned about pomegranate juice in, uh, in South Africa. I mean, real pomegranate juice. And when a woman told me, look, this do once a day, you only do like to, to like um, you know, half a glass, you know, this is pure pomegranate juice once a day. This is from concentrate, so I'm making my own juice. And then this here is a cranberry juice. Uh, now, pomegranate, pomegranate juice is actually good for high blood pressure. That's why I'm doing it, because I'm doing this little experiment. Or we can do the little pomegranate juice thing and see how my blood pressure, because I still, I still take my uh, blood pressure medicine, of course. But, uh, what's this in my eye? But, uh, But I wanted to see what the pomegranate juice is going to do. So now I put a little cranberry juice. They say the same thing. So this is my pomegranate cranberry juice. The pomegranate is also good. Blood pressure is also good for inflammation. So, you know, it's a bunch of other things, you know. Uh, I don't know. Everything's good for cancer, I guess. Blah, 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 blah. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, it does taste like it's... Ooh, I guess that's the cranberry juice. Mmm. Sort of, Mm. I sip on that. Here's what I tell you. So, back in the day, <laughs> I um, uh, I used to go to the the um, um, club shelter. We just call it the shelter. Hey, the shelter. This is like an original, you know, sweatshirt from the shelter. See, shelter. I had several dance partners, but my main dance partner, um, what I, what I go to the club with, you know what I mean? Um, and sister, um, Josefina. Uh, also, we need to call her song. She was from um, the Dominican Republic. She's like dark, but black Dominican, <laughs> you know. Then we had then Susanna. She was from Brazil, right? Uh, uh, Lace. Sometimes she's uh, she's actually Panamanian American, whatever, like that. And then my main dance partner though was uh, there's some other thing. Uh, also, um, oh yeah, what this. Oh, well, sometimes. Some, sometimes other people, Shiree, and some other people, you know, like that. But my main dance partner, uh, remember, it's just dance partner. Don't get don't get all da 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 Anyway, my main dance partner was Darcy. And, Dar you know, so we go, like, every week, you know what I mean? And when she wouldn't come, we, we, we go all the time. But she oh, you always see him because she'd have this, um uh, like like a bikini, not a bikini, like a broad top, right? But it had the spangles on it. Everybody wore the same stuff all the time, like that. 
So people on the shelter, you'll, you'll know back in the day, we're talking about, you know, in the, like, like the 90s, you know what I mean? Anyway, so Darcy and then, and, and let me see how, let me see what the dancer full of. When I had my incident with the C in 2002, when was it? What was that? Yeah, 2002. Um, you know, I had, a, I had a little incident with the sea. I was, you know, I was totally paralyzed. Da, da, da. I had to put a neck brace on for a year, whatever it is. I was down recuperating down in, um, recuperating down in Silver Spring, Maryland, but um, in the Kinji. Anyway, so what happened is a few months after I could get just a little bit gone, right? First thing I did when I got, you know, I, I took a trip up to New York. Darcy had, at that time, was living in California, but she had, she had been coming she had, she had to come to New York for some reason. So we met up, right, at the shelter with their new location because the one on Hubert Street had been closed or whatever. That's, that's when, you know, yeah, with, uh, Bobby De Niro's neighborhood, you know, they, they complained about the club, blah, 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 blah. They were they, they came there. The Tribeca thing. Don't worry about it. It's, it's just gentrification. You know how white people come to mess things up. Anyway, so she, she and she, um, anyway, so she was in, she went to Cali California. And uh, but to show you how how much dance a fool I am, remember I'm in a neck brace, right? <laughs> neck brace. I could I could walk for like maybe 20 minutes, then I had to take take a rest, take take a rest. You know what I mean? This I mean it's really serious. Um, so let me show you what a fool dancing dancing fool I was. This is when we used to have. Uh, you know, we used to have what do you call that uh, 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 membership cards. You know, because it it, it grew out of uh, it, the club shelter. Grew, oh, shelter! They call it club shelter, but the shelter grew out of uh, now paradise paradise garage, which came from the, the loft and gallery that came together in paradise garage. It, it, these are the people from that. Don't worry about the phone. Them. It's it's it's. Uh, it's also a club shelter. See like that. But this is me when I was when I came down. This was in uh, expires. Expires of 2004. Yeah, this is 2000, 2002. 12 1 2002. That means that I had, had the internet happened in July. So, like, basically six months later, I'm up here like a fool at the club show. Now, if you look at this thing real, real close, you see, that's my locks, whatever, have you, but you see, I got a neck brace on. I got a neck brace on. I went. To, <laughs> <laughs> the shelter on the dance floor and a neck brace. <laughs> and totally now, like 20, I could dance for like 20 minutes. I sit down, you know, but, but it was that's what a dancing floor. Anyway, I'm gonna make a long story a little bit longer. So, Darcy, she was living in California. She, um, she got married, had a kid, right? And you know what happens when you have a new kid? You gotta you get books. So, she went and she found this book. And so she, she calls me up, or you know, emails. Yeah, she calls me up because I was in the states at the time. And she says, D -d 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 "I think I saw you. I think I saw you on the cover of a book." You know what I mean? Because remember, she knew that I, I used to model for the School of Visual Arts from like eighty to eighty-eight, something like that. Um, but the last four years, it doesn't matter. But that, I used to be an artist model. So somewhere in there, about eighty-six, something like that. I got commissioned to do this this modeling job, so this was a Pete Seeger sponsored thing. I think you had a I think you had a uh, an album with it or something like that. But look at that! This is the book, right? And this guy, the artist Michael Hayes, I guess. Um, he's the one. That, but if you look real carefully, who's that? That right there? That bottle right there? That's me. <laughs> well, here here's the thing. I took it. I was at a trip. I, went, I went, had a trip one time. I was in. Uh, I was in. Uh, where was I? I was in. I was in um, Thailand, and I went from Thailand to Laos. To Laos, you know, the, right over there. I took a uh, boat ride. You, you, the fast boat was so slow boat. I took the slow boat. Right on his boat, there was this guy. Right, there was there was two guys. There was one guy. He wouldn't talk. Seemed like to me. He, he was taking a vow of silence, or he's like CIA. Cause you know, you don't know me, but. Let me tell you, I was messing with this guy. He wouldn't talk. I said, "What? Well, because we're on a slow boat, you know. We're going to, we're going from Chiang Mai, well, whatever, whatever. You go from Chiang Mai to this other thing and get on this boat, and then basically, um, uh, you're on your way to what's that? Uh, not Long Pavon, whatever the big, the big city is in in in, in the northern uh, uh, Laos. I forgot what it is. 
I got this all written down, you know. Uh, even that trip, that that little trip that we took, I got it written down. It's on my website. Uh, maybe I'll put a link to the thing, to that story. Anyway, so I'm messing with this guy because I swore he was CIA because he could have just been. Because back then, you know, you, people go to, they take these vows of science and walk around that. So I, know, I just messed with it. But this other guy was there. We, we were talking. Um, he, um, we just started talking. And for some, I don't know how it happened. I think he said he was a, he had a gallery in Mexico. And I said, oh, that's, that's cool. I said, you know, I have, I, have a, I have a beef with you, especially you gallery owners, you, you art people. I said, you know, if you do a photo, if you do a picture, like for instance, at, the, at, the, at, the, at School of Visual Arts, this woman, this girl, whatever, when she was for a graduation party, she did this huge portrait of me. And later on, I found out through, um, through Charlie Finch, who ran a gallery, that that portrait, it was her first major thing. Uh, it was it sold for something like the thousand, maybe two thousand dollars. Let's let's pump it for like two thousand dollars. Now I'm just I'm the model. This was she did as a school project, right? Her graduation, but whatever it was. So I don't get no money for that. I mean, I get paid as as a model, but when this thing sells for two thousand dollars, you know, I don't get no commission. The artist might get something that first time, but then that thing, if if it's like in twenty nine years, you know what I mean? They think myself for twenty nine thousand million dollars, you know what I mean? So I'm the, I'm the model. I don't get enough for it. So I was talking to this art, this guy that got on on an art gallery. I think it was in San Miguel, uh, uh, Mexico, Mexico. So um, I was talking to him. I said, you know, it's Don Sham. You know, I used to artist model. I still, I, yeah, I was still. It doesn't matter. And I said, you know, the artist. They should get a commission when when that thing sells. They should get a, they should get a commission. This is how strange. This is now we we in a, a Mekong River, you know. And for me, and this guy has a, a gallery in Mexico. I'm from the South Bronx. Well, I'm from the states. I'm from the South Bronx. You know what I mean? The likelihood of us coming together is like, think about it. And so when I said it, he said, "Oh, I pay my because um, um, use the local the local people." He says when they model for me. When the picture sells, that first com commission, they get a commission from it. Now, what's the likelihood of me? Because I had that idea, you know, we should get a commission. All I'm trying to say is that, I, you know, the, it did, when this book sells, each time it sells, it didn't cost that much money. Every time it sells, it's a children's book. Every time it sells, shouldn't I be getting a commission? Come on now. Somebody's getting a commission. Pete, Pete might be, his estate might be getting a commission. Maybe Michael Hayes getting a commission. Maybe, who is this? Aladdin Paperbacks, Simon & Schuster might be getting a commission. Hey, but hey, they, they might, you might buy this thing just because you like the cover, right? And I'm the cover. Okay, that's the name of But I got this book because, of course, it's a children's book, but my niece had a baby almost a year ago. The baby is going to be like, what, uh, uh, um, one year old on the same day my, my wife is born, April 5th. So I'm going to send this to them. You know what I mean? This and some other stuff, you know, but I'm going to send it to them because I'm not going to be here. Maybe I'm not going to be here because I'm, I'm scheduled to leave. <laughs> I'm scheduled to leave the States on April 1st because I want to get back in time. South Africa to be my wife for her birthday, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, so I got so I, so I got the book. So now I have the book because I never had it. But here's the other strange thing. So here I am walking. Yeah, because I was walking up with this. I got this from an independent bookstore. It's called uh, Book Culture down uh, whatever, whatever street it was by Columbia University. Uh, right over Broadway, so so that's good. Um, but I gotta get some more copies because I I, I got I'm I gotta take gotta have it from my own library. Maybe I'll leave something here with my buddy here. We'll see what happens. But here's what else happened. So here I am walking on 25th Street, and I meet this guy, and he's selling books. I'm gonna do this backwards. I'm gonna show you what else. No, let me do this now. So he's he's a vendor on the street, right by Adam Clayton Powell. I don't like to say that because that's not what... But Adam Clayton Powell was actually against the Harlem State Office Building when it was being built. They built it as the Harlem State Office Building, but when they built it, they named it after him. I think he was dead by then. Man, you would think his son, you know, or somebody would say, hey, he wasn't about that. I mean, I'm going to tell you about this later. So I, I go there, and this brother... I got to... He's selling these, you know, these sweatshirts. Okay, no worries. Ends up, in fact, let me put this, let me show you so maybe I won't put it on. Take too much. So he tells me the secret. Say, for instance, this shirt here, you see, it's got, the, it's got a little hidden, like red, black, and green in there like that. 
Okay. Now, if you notice, it's the Bronx. Or it's called, it's called the Bronx. He does this himself. You see, it's the Bronx, right? I never seen nothing like this, but in the Bronx, he's the map guy. In the Bronx, do you have right here? So I got I got two because he was originally it cost twenty twenty dollars, and then he knocked the price down to fifteen for a couple of weeks ago, and then he said, "Now, brother, uh, they're ten dollars. It's ten dollars." So I went and bought two <laughs> red because I, I like red, but I like you know I have to do black. Blah blah blah. So look, it's a map of the Bronx. So here, look at here. See, I was actually born in, in Morrisina Hospital. Marcina House down there. See, that's Marcina section of the Bronx. Marcina House there. It has all the sections of the Bronx, real section. So right down, all the way down here in the real South Bronx. I guess Marcina South Bronx. Actually, we define the South Bronx as below 161st Street, which is right about here, because the hub is like, a, they call it the hub now, but we didn't call it the hub. It's like going up to 3rd Avenue. That's where Hearns is, you know, the Hearns uh, department store where the Bronx movie theater is one side, and, and you have, I think, RKO, Lowe's, or whatever it was. <clears throat> anyway. That's the Mount Haven section right there. That's the Patterson Projects. That's where, basically, that's where I, I, that's where I was made. Okay, the Bluesmen. That's where I was made. In other words, you was made where the first place that you had your your, your first fight. That's where you was made. Okay, so you may have been born whatever whatever. But say if you moved to I don't know, I'll say Atlanta, right? Then you were made in Atlanta if you just your formative years. Right? Okay, so. So I'm talking to the brother. Ends up he's born in the Bronx too. In fact, his his his, his child went to the to the to the public school that that grew, that was right across the street from the building I was. But when I was growing up, it was a gas station. Right? I think it was golf. Or something. It was a gas station, right? But then they changed it to a, 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 a elementary school, right? So he says, you know, he's a Bronx guy, blah blah blah. So he tells me that in July, there's a, in Atlanta there's a Bronx Day. Oh, really? And it just so happens, my man, uh, uh, Nelson Davis, he's in some sort of gun club and down Atlanta, and they have some sort of thing happening that week. And then plus, uh, Tariq's supposed to have his little uh, foundational plot, whatever. So I was going to check that out. So I wanted to go down Atlanta just to hang out with Nelson, just just to hang out, because I ain't seen him in a long time. You know, we correspond all the time. In fact, I, I, I got to do, he's doing this book, and I'm supposed to be doing something. I've been falling back. I got to do something with that. But but the guy says, so I figured, like, the, the, when, the, when is the thing going to happen? It's going to happen in Bronx State in Atlanta at Grant Park. Got that from him. I got to write these things down now, because, you know, my mental acuity is, maybe, but that's what pomegranate juice is good for, too. Uh, Bronx State, July 16th. Right after my birthday. In fact, that's when I'm supposed to. I'm, I'm leaving. Supposedly, really getting out of the country April first. I'm supposed to come back here, you know, right after my birthday, which is July third. Um, so I'll be here for this. And it's Bronx Day, Grand Park, and uh, so hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get back in the country, if I can even leave the country and go to that that little thing. But here's the thing. I'll say the brother's name is Percy Lee. Percy Lee Anderson. I like the brother a lot, you know, because he's from the Bronx. Right. This kid's from the Bronx. But school, right? Wait a minute. He gets it. Positive learning um, equates etiquette. Equates? Yeah, equates. Yeah, equates etiquette. That's the name of the book. So I bought this book from him, too. It's a book. I had to. Sorry. It's a little book. You know? But we had a really uh, interesting uh, discussion. You know, talk, talk, whatever have you. So I want to I wanna check this out, whatever it is. So, but... um. So that's it. So um, so me and Percy Lee Anderson, hopefully I get down there, go hang out. It's a deep brother. I like the brother. So if you have a 125th Street, right by the Adam Clayton Jr., you know, that, that whole thing where, you know, where Ra and all them people are selling and stuff, then go ahead, buy something from the brother. That's just a little message from me. T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.